Sweet Baby Inc. developed Unknown 9 Awakening sees peak player counts decline by over 40% in its first week, which is already a huge yikes because the player count was less than Concord, which I believe was 697 players. Somebody can fact check me on that. It's around that. Uh, Concord was supposed to be like the Star Wars of gaming. They, they expected to be huge, freaking massive. And it was just a pronoun, uh, fat, ugly, bitch type game. It was horrible. It was, it was just ugly to look at. I wanted to piss out of my eyes. It, it was horrible. The whole, the whole, everything about Concord was horrible. Um, and I think they uh, see that as it failed within, what, less than a month? They already shut down the servers and everything. There's rumors of it coming back, but I highly doubt that. Um, Reflector Entertainment and Bandco, uh, Bandai Namco's Unknown 9, which was developed by Sweet Baby Inc., has already seen its peak player count decrease. I think they had the thing. Anyway, all time peak four days ago, uh, 285. 24 hour peak, 166. Players right now, 59. I just checked before doing this video, and it's roughly the same. I think it's a little less, the uh, players right now. Um, but it's going down. It's going down, uh, and it's. Uh, <laughs> Oops, excuse me, not looking good. These numbers look even worse after a number of reviews for the game on Steam <laughs> indicated they received it for free for purchasing the AMD processors and car. Yeah, if you purchase AMD like graphic cars and whatever, they give it to free. It, they're trying to give it away for free because they're like, no one's going to buy this shit. A uh, dozen of individuals who reviewed the game revealed they got it for free. One wrote that, uh, thank you, AMD. Ow! A microphone pulled a hair out of my beard. Uh, thank you, AMD, for bringing PS2 graphics into the PC community in 2004. And for inexplicable reasons, uh, inexplicable reasons, uh, the game still runs 30 frames per second at native 4K resolution, despite using your truly 7800 and you know, latest graphic cars and all that. Now, if you excuse me, I need to uh, return to Imperium as I've yet to kill enough. Okay. <laughs> Um, another posted, I got this game for free and that is, uh, that's a good thing. Developers need to understand that every game in this day and age needs to have at least a somewhat good combat system, not a dodge attack, you know, whatever that is, curse word, uh, show like this, uh, oh, shit show, yeah. I put that together. I'm smart. I had at least a little bit of hope ignoring everybody that was telling me that it wasn't looking good. Uh, when is the game ready? Okay. So, so people will give it a legitimate chance. You know, it's not like everyone's like, oh, it's going to be the right wing fascist media that like to say the N word in their spare time. Uh, but it's just, uh, you know, everyday people, they're, they're, they're checking out the game and giving it a legitimate chance. And it, it's funny. They, the, they focus so much on the DEI aspect, on the race swapping, on the, uh, which is, just, by the way, I played Alan Wake 2 recently, which is another sweet baby in game. And it's a shame because Alan Wake 2 is a fantastic game. It's a really good game. But uh, uh, I do see the woke, uh, the Saga Anderson, who is first introduced in Quantum Break. And if you guys don't know Remedy Games, it's a, it's a connected universe, so... Quantum Break, Control, Alan Wake are all in their same universe now. It's like an MCU thing. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. It's, it's pretty fun. Um, Saga Anderson's introduced in Quantum Break, and she's white. And then in the next game, Alan Wake 2, she's black. I'm like, I'm like, are we, are we just supposed to pretend that she's not black? I'm like, I, I, I just thought, what is? why did you do this? It's not a different universe or anything or a timeline. It's the same exact character. <laughs> She's just black for some reason now. What is the explanation? But they, you know, of course they don't, you know, they just, they, they just, they made the choice for, you know, some woke brownie points. They, they figure the, the woker they go, you know, the better it would be perceived it is not that way at all. A lot of people like Sweet Baby Inc. And a lot, they're not the only one, Sweet Baby Inc. There's a lot of other companies like that uh who are wokeifying games movies tv shows comic books inserting their far left-wing progressive politics in these games and uh, the best way to do is just stop buying it look i don't want politics even if i agree with it i don't want it in my games that's an escape movies tv shows comic books uh, uh books in general i just whipped out my kindle the other day i'm reading actually through the uh, red dragon um we want that escapism. It's very important. It's a very healthy thing for everybody, no matter what you believe politically or whatever. It's a very healthy thing to have escapism, to get away from the, the just the political crap that's going on in the world. 
uh, whatever you feel, whatever you vote for, it is uh, it's as good to escape to get a break from it. Um, and we can't do that with companies like Sweet Baby Inc. inserting their woke politics and everything. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys played this, is it really that bad? Is it good? Let me know. Um, I'm, I'm really curious. I'm genuinely curious. Um, I'd love to hear you guys saw us. Like and subscribe if you want to support this video. We are doing more pop culture content, especially post-election. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. So uh, if you guys are uh, something you guys are interested in, consider subscribing. And I uh, hope you guys have a long uh, happy. Ha a bit, a bit, a bit. I cannot talk right. <laughs> Hope to have you guys along for the ride. Appreciate you guys listening, and I'll see you guys on the next video.